Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit software. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Now, we will be installing the software to program our Arduino Uno. And this Arduino Uno software is a free download and will operate on several different operating systems. Now the IDE or Integrated Development Environment software uses a streamlined version of C++ to write and upload code to the boards. Now this software is open source and is available free of charge. It will run on Windows, Mac and Linux. When we, we will be installing this software, the Arduino IDE, on a Windows 7 machine and then connecting it to our Arduino Uno board and then we'll modify the Blink program. So let's get started. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have our Arduino website up here. And if we scroll down on this website, you will see that we have a download section and we can download the Windows version. Now because we have a Windows 7 machine, we're gonna do the installer. We're gonna install this right on this machine, Windows 7 and up and it will actually then ask for uh, to contribute to the Arduino software to keep the community going or we can just um, uh, hit the just download and you can see now my download has started now we won't wait for that to finish what we will do is call up that software that just got downloaded that file and when we do it will actually go into actually installing this software. So you must agree to the licensing agreement. Then it will uh, select the points to install. Now I would uh, install all of these. We'll hit next. The location of the installation or the destination folder. We hit install. And now the installation now starts. Now during the installation uh, we have already previously installed this software onto this machine and so all the USB drivers are already present but what you'll notice is that during your installation it may pop up and ask for a USB driver when that happens select install or and you can also trust that uh, version and install those drivers you can see that it take, doesn't take that long to actually install this uh, software we're just about finished right now. And what this will do is then create a desktop icon on your um, computer and it will go into your start directory, which is under your, um, your Windows orb. And then you hit all programs and then you will see Arduino listed in that list of uh, programs that you have installed. So here we've completed now, we'll close this. And once it's closed, we will actually start our Arduino by double clicking on that desktop icon. And the first thing happens is a splash screen comes up and now we are um, into the software itself. So the software itself, you'll see that has um, a few of these icons up here and the, the user interface is very um, simple and easy to understand. What you'll see is that we have our verify here, the verify button. We have an upload button. We have our new file, so we can create a new file. We can have our open button so we can retrieve previous programs. We have a save button. Then we have a our code writing area, which is located right here. And down here we have our information area. So that is the elements that we have. And next what we'll do is we'll actually take a look at the um, hardware that we have. So let's uh, take a look at that. And here we have our super starter kit. Here is our board that we have right here. And what we're gonna do is take our USB connector and we're going to plug into the board. This will do two things. This will actually um, power up the board for us as well as it will 
um, allow the computer to see that board and install the USB drivers so that we can communicate to the board. Now when holding the board, we want to make sure that we actually hold it by the actual connector itself and then plug it in. And we want to do that simply because we want to ensure that we don't put any more static stress onto this connector here on our board and destroy it. And currently right now, you can see that my light, my light is blinking using my blink program that's already pre-installed into this device. And it's blinking at once per uh, second. So one second on, one second off. And what we can do is we'll just look at quickly at um, the actual board selection in our software. So if we go to tools and boards, and then we can go right here. You can see that we already have Arduino Uno selected, which is good. And then under tools, under port, you can see that we have port 21 selected as our um, unit, our Arduino Uno. And on the main page, what you'll see is that we have the Arduino Uno on COM21, which is exactly the information that we uh, wanted to display. Next, what you'll see is that when we installed this program, there was a lot of uh, um, sample code that it goes with the Arduino. And Arduino is great for uh, looking at previous examples and building upon those examples. So to get to the example, if we go to the main menu, we'll go to file, we'll uh, go to open or go to examples, then we'll go basics, and then we have blink. And this is the blink that we are showing right now. So if we go down to the blink, and you'll see here on line 34, as I click on this, you'll also see line 34 here down. We can change that instead of, and this is delay, a delay. So it turns the uh, LED uh, built-in light high, then delays for 1000 milliseconds, which is equal to one second. Let's change that to um, 500, which is half a second. So instead of blinking one second on, one second off, we're going to go one second, half a second, half a second off, half a second on, half a second off. So you'll see that there's going to be a little different. And we're going to do the same thing here on line. 36, we'll change that to 500. So that's our new program. And what we can do is we can verify that. And when we verify that, it just means that it's going to look through the code and determine whether or not our instructions make sense and whether we're following the, the good syntax that Arduino wants before we transfer it. And once we've got that verified, again, it just takes a, a couple of minutes here. There we go. Our compiling's all done. It gives us some sketch. Um, a sketch or a program means the same thing in Arduino. So it uses 924 bytes, 2% of the program storage space. So then we can say upload. And because we've selected Arduino on port 21, then we'll upload this to uh, the actual Arduino itself. And there we go, we've uploaded it successfully. And you can now see that our light is actually blinking at half a second. And what you can see is we can, we can actually then uh, reduce that even more. Let's go 200 milliseconds. And again, we can go through the verify, or you'll notice that when we upload it, we actually verify the program first, so we can do that. So we'll just I could just uh, send it out, uh, upload. There we go. And now our blinking light is even faster. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. 
A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click that bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.